Hello everybody, welcome back to Strafe. I'm going to give you a little bit of a confession. Yesterday I was testing out uh, Borderlands 2 because we're going to be playing that uh, a little bit on... Not on stream, but on camera. Uh, with some people, <laughs> basically. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a collab with uh, 40 and some others. Shout out to the community of... The, uh, the, uh, the, uh... Shout out to the, uh... Sharing is caring community and uh, all the other communities who I have posted this with and been a member of for some time now. How's it going, all of y'all? But, uh, apparently you can just like, get to create this. Yeah, you can. And it plays a little tune, nice. Um, I was testing out Borderlands 2 yesterday just for, you know, general purpose salute. Um, ability at being recorded, in, you know, just how my computer will cope with it. As expected, it's fine. <laughs> You know, there's nothing wrong with it at all, because this computer seems to have managed to cope with everything that I could give it, even though it isn't really that powerful, which is kind of strange. You would expect it to have a little bit more trouble with a lot of the games we're thrown at it, but, you know, when it, when, since it, oh, that was cool, since it managed to get its way through, uh, Doom 2016 without any real effort, uh, I'm kind of uh, kind of happy to just throw anything at all at it these days and assume it's going to be fine. Anyway, um, I realized halfway through playing that I was actually using my thumbball type mouse. You know the Logitech ones? If you don't know what they are, do check them out. They're okay. Um, by which I mean I have like three of them <laughs> for various different positions around the house. I've got one at work. One or two at work, in fact. Explode barrel, thank you. And... Um, you know, I was halfway through playing and I went, wait a minute, <laughs> just a config a minute. I've been playing a 3D, you know, first person perspective video game for like an hour now. And I've only just realized that I have been using this and not a normal mouse. So I'm currently using what my, my thumb is doing all the work. I'm not moving my wrist at all, which is the complete and utter and entire point of the thing. Let's pick this up. Uh, throw it up there. Oh, we made it work. That is legendary. I love that. Legend, wait for it. Derry. Oh, I see you. Nice. So enough bullets do stop those. As we learned in the last episode. Uh, we want to... Oh, there's some of those as well, apparently. Ooh. I'm learning a lot, although I would like to learn a little bit less that. Um, the... <laughs> oh, Hello. Oh, that was that thing over there managing to get a shot in on me, even though it's generally a slow shooter. Um, what's making that noise? And why are you on there? Let's go down there and see what we can win. Found a lot that playing this game, as, as we've talked about in previous episodes, <laughs> we always end up uh, kind of stuck for something to do. Because... There's always like a, an enemy or something that we can't find. When we press tab, we get this sickening motion sickness inducing weird map in our... Yeah, it's like you're trying to... You ever had a... <laughs> it's like I'm trying to chew my lapel, you know? Probably one. More shots of some description. Whoa! Watch it, sunshine. Uh, I would like, in general, more... Hello. Yeah. I thought that might be more more grenades waiting for me, more ammunition and all that sort of thing. Although we do have a reasonable amount for this, I don't know if it's going to be enough. We're still seeing new parts of the level, which I, I'm down with entirely. By which I mean new new shapes for the level to take on, new sections, new components that make the levels up. Like that. I mean, this is pretty obviously going to be. Oh, hello. Uh, you just walk into the fire and die. I'm absolutely down with that. You can do that much as you like, as far as I'm concerned. No qualms here. Uh, if I have one criticism with this game, it's that it does tend to give you the same... It doesn't tend to give you the same weapons as pickups from enemies. Uh, I guess I take some crappy armor. Um, uh, so I've got... One, two, I've got... Four enemies, three of which I've picked up, and like one of which has ammunition. Right, I think we already learned that we can't get ammunition for the weapons that we pick up on the way. We just have to pick more of them up. But I mean, kind of makes me think maybe what we should be doing is um, 
just wasting them, emptying them completely, and then throwing them. Because if we're not picking them up anymore, we're not filling them up again. And if we do fill them up again, you know, we've got, um, we've got it. <laughs> you know, if we, if we pick another one up, we, we end up with it. So uh, just before we do anything else, I'm going to say what I did learn about secrets is that if you have a look out, if you look on the map, if there's a room you can't seem to figure out how to get to, that's probably a secret. But <laughs> secrets are done in this game apparently just by exploding walls. Uh, and that's it. Uh, the thing that we fell into, the glitch shop, people have been asking about on the internet, um, which is fair because it's a reasonable question to ask. What the heck is this thing? It's a glitch shop and nobody really knows whether it's there or I say on purpose. Obviously, it was made on purpose because it's very difficult to make something like that by accident. It's not going to just fall out of the algorithm of the game. But also, why? I wish I could see underneath it. <laughs> the level won't let me. I don't even know if there's map controls I can use. Oh, scrap! Thank you. Um, that's not a secret, and it doesn't count. And I, people don't know whether it's there to make up for if you fall out of the world by accident or if it's there and you're supposed to fall out of the world in some situations because it doesn't count as a secret right um wh where's the way out oh. Hello? something's making a noise and i want it to stop because it sounds like a secret oh it's that ah uh, well let's go in here didn't seem like there were any secrets on that level, but honestly, I, I have no idea. Press tab to look at the map, or just use the splattered blood and gore to see where you've been. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, seems pretty pretty useful. Piece of advice there, if I'm being honest. So you can also desecrate this one. To get more stuff. It's HP. So yeah, like I was saying, we might as well just use these, right? Because now we have a weapon we can just last minute throw at somebody. Where are you going? I'm trying to kill the ice thing. I mean, the acid thingy. Ice? Ice that baby. Haha, <laughs> you got you. That makes me that. Because you're supposed to be on the same team. We're not going to use all this up. We learned this as well in previous episodes. Don't use up all of your. HP, <laughs> because you might need it uh, when you actually take a lot of damage. There's no point having max HP, but always being far, far away from it. Okay, you can have this. Where did you come from? There. Would have been nice to have exploded that, but that's okay. Hey, what? Leave me alone. One of the tooltips did say that you can override acid with blood but of course if you're fighting in the normal order of things or at least what seems to be the normal order of things you tend to not be able to get to the things producing acid until you've already killed all the things that produce blood so yeah this is not the easiest ask i know it's probably a bad thing to say ask we're not american here. let's just use this we've only got two shots for it left anyway and then we can use it so, I mean, yeah, so that was my philosophy on that. Use the shots in it. And then use it. To smash over an enemy's head. <laughs> and then... Because if you were ever going to get any more ammo for that, you'd get it by picking up another one anyway. Right? Whereas, if you were never going to get any more ammo for it, what were you saving it for? Because if you save ammo, like that, you just end up... Dying with a load of weapons that could have helped. It's like in Isaac. If you die with a, <coughs> a, a chariot card in your hand or, or a Mama Mega or something that just is an instant I win button, then you're basically an instant I loser because you're bad and should feel bad because you, <laughs> you die with HP, you die with invincibility, you die with any of these things that you didn't use to your advantage. You, you died and you, now you can't use them. Let's try this again. It was really difficult. <laughs> Can I, can I use anything else?
Oh. I am firing, I promise. <laughs> I don't know if this is intentionally this weirdly laggy, but it, this is so difficult. <laughs> if I was using the keys, let me use my other hand. Can I shoot? No, I can't shoot now. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. This is too slow. <laughs> Turning is too slow. What is happening in here? Okie dokie. <laughs> Not a fan of this at all. 95 health. There is um, food on the floor, which I believe represents health. So, which would make sense because this is one of those games, right? Please uh, turn around faster. I, I honestly don't know if I have any chance of getting anywhere in this. Kill. Time to see the word kill. I think of kill like kill, which is. I believe an anime, but I've never watched it, and uh, I'm not entirely sure that it is an anime, <laughs> now I think about it. I think it is. Can anyone confirm? You've got HP. I'm pleased with that. It's so weird. Why is there a dark mage in it? <laughs> we are picking up ammo for this, which is perfect. The last time we did this, there was no HP anywhere. Also, do you remember you just run around pressing the use button, and it will eventually find a secret for you? <laughs> it's like... This is what I'm doing. I've got my hand on the mouse because I need it to fire, and I keep using my my thumb to try and actually move, and it is not working at all. Can I change weapon? No. Oh, I ran out of time. Oh, he made it. Oh, he didn't make it. I didn't even notice the timer, and I was literally just about to pull that thingy. Yikes. Oh, I got more damage. Things started making noises, and it terrified me. I think the fact I didn't die meant that I deserved more damage there. Also, the pace of that Wolfenstein, Luftenstein game, so slow compared to the pace of this game that I have some sort of the opposite of highway blindness. It's like, you know, when you uh, finally get onto the motorway and you can put your foot down, and if you've actually got a decent vehicle, it makes a difference to the speed of the car. Um, and it's a very, very satisfying experience indeed. Kind of like that. Whoa, hello. Too many grooves. Slightly low on ammo. It doesn't really provide you with any, I think. You do have to construct it yourself. Oh, uh, it does, actually. So you have to find it in monster closets. I don't know if I've ever seen any literally just lying around. Oh, That's an interesting weapon with only six shots in it. Might as well use it. I'm reasonably sure it's just... It's not just a... It may be one shot, one kill, but I'm pretty sure it's not doing more than one enemy per shot. I don't think there's anything special about it, except the fact that it's powerful. Although, honestly, maybe we should save up these weapons, because we can be fair... Oh, hello. We can be fairly sure that we're going to be able to get through these first few levels without too much difficulty. We do. We have to take a bit of damage, actually. Let's go back and find the uh, free HP. Hello? Oh, don't you? Paddy's down here, look. Gonna find the uh, the food thingy that I believe was near the entrance. Also, we have to keep backtracking just to shoot enemies that spawn behind us like meanies. I will eat all that food. That's fine. I have no qualms with eating all the food to keep myself alive. We have to do better than this, honestly. Um, I did not get hit by that because I'm dodging. Also, why have you got so much HP? Take an entire clip just to down one. Man. It was a waste of time, wasn't it? Because we've almost got as little HP as we did when we left and went here in the first place. Any, anything in here? <clears throat> Negative. I think the game would also benefit from a little bit more HP. I don't know. Uh, I'm not actually playing on easy mode. I must remind myself of this. There's some ammo. Thank you. Because there is an option for easy mode and I didn't choose it. <laughs> So, we oughtn't worry too much about how badly we're doing, because over time, as we get used to the patterns of the enemies and the... Uh, oh, I like this. I like this? I don't know. Ah, uh, itchy back, wait. As we get used to the patterns of the enemies and the way the, the rooms are laid out and actually can get through the level a little bit quicker without standing on acid or just getting completely lost and having no idea what to do...
do like the road. Um, then we will start to... Pardon me. Right, you can't put anything but your main weapon in there, and presumably whilst your main weapon is in there... What does this do? Uh, you can't then... You can just change weapons, so why don't you just put it in there anyway? <laughs> My dude, you're not helping anybody. Look at this then. What did we get? Oh, it is triple shot. So each one of our shots is three shots spread out. This may be worse than it was before we picked it up. It's worth trying these things out, and we will continue to consider it worth trying these things out. Um, and I am looking hither and thither for somewhere that looks like it might be a secret. We've got so much to learn about this game, and on the wiki, there's kind of it's almost it's kind of useless. <laughs> if I'm being honest, the people who have written articles on the wiki mostly it's people asking questions and speculation. And that's it. Um, I, I, I prefer a little bit more authoritativeness in the answers, but the only way you're going to get authority in the answers is if the developers answer, essentially. Or somebody who's for science it so much that they know exactly what's going on shows up and, uh, and does it for you. Throw that over your head. I see you there. Aha, nice. That was the last shot of those. So we do want to basically keep an array of weapons simply because that way we have basically options. We need options. Now that we've uh, well, say ruined our um, now that we've ruined our uh, main weapon by turning it into triple shot. What the heck? I don't know what I did, but I don't think I meant to. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we can start a new one again. Uh, let's let's continue and change our beginning weapon. I don't know if quick restart would have done that, but here we go. I want to try the railgun again. I was very much in preference of the railgun all along. So having something accurate like this is going to make a big difference because when I changed my uh, weapon to the not railgun, I was very sad to have done so. So that gave us a little bit of ammo to begin with. How are you that inaccurate? Well, I was, uh, I was trying to get the timing right on that so that I could get it right again in the future, but it didn't work the first time, so how am I supposed to do it again the second time? Right? Yikes! I do like the, the ASMD shock rifle sort of effect that I've got going on here. It makes it very difficult to actually achieve it. Uh, which means I'm not going to be using it that often, even though it looks like it could be really powerful. I wish I knew what had happened to me at the end of the last run when we just died at random. I don't think it was at random uh, in, in the literal universal sense, but it was definitely a random in my estimation because of the way that I had no idea what was going on and then we died. That was really good. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, it does seem a little bit difficult to enable the ASMD shock rifle burst mode thingy. I'm going to stick with the railgun, even though I have just picked up another weapon. Because I kind of like it, <laughs> honestly. Can I get anybody? No, but you can... You just have to charge up so much. Uh, it kind of makes it a big... A bit of a difference maker. And yeah, I am playing this game with a thumb bolt. Can we please have more in this clip? There we go. Whew. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's like, just, just holding it a little bit doesn't really help. It only holds five shots. How many of those shots does it need? And you missed it. I don't even know how you managed that. Absolute loser. How are you this inaccurate? <laughs> I thought the whole point of the shock rifle was that it was accurate. I keep calling it a shock rifle. It is a rail gun. And don't you forget it, laddie. Thank you. Thank you. At least it reloads reasonably quickly. At least... Maybe it takes longer to reload if there's more to reload. <laughs> I could have shot you 
more effectively than an explosion dealt with you. This makes me a sad, excuse me, sad panda. More rate of fire? What is this one? Also, the lack of tooltips, so I don't know what I'm picking up. Oh, there's another one. No, there isn't. It's a different thing again. Oh, okay. Careful of this one. <laughs> oh, it's a man-eater. It's a man-eater. That's what I mean by careful of this one. Rate of fire has gone up a little bit, which is nice. It means that I can... I would like a faster reload rate, though. Not a faster rate of fire. Where did you go? I saw you. There you are. Come on, then. I'll bite your legs off. What are you doing up there? Awesome. Slippery floor. I mean, we could leave. <laughs> Why? Why shouldn't we? Explain. Because there's more to do. That was a good dodge, even though it was completely out of panic and I didn't actually mean to dodge, it's just that they missed. Yeah, it's not so much that I dodged, it's that they missed. That's <laughs> Credit where credit's due. Do not appreciate that very much. More accuracy? Going. I hope so, because I have been shooting wide. I'm no gunslinger, that's for sure. Even though I've got a railgun. It kind of is predicated on your ability to aim. Let's get over here and see what we've got. Up here, nothing. I mean, as I was saying, that thing that we went up, it was clearly a place to go up. But because we were getting attacked, I thought I'd run away. And then <laughs> when we ran away, it it got me. I got got. Is that everything? I know these first floors are small, but come on. All right, fine. Let's just leave. Give me stuff. I'm here for stuff. There's no sprint button. <laughs> Why? Let me go faster. This game is too slow. All right. Let's try not to die in a silly way, if we can possibly avoid it. But yeah, no promises. And also, I didn't. Oh, I didn't go back and get the rest of the HP. Okay. This gives us what? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what that gave me. Please don't open the door for that. All right? Open the door for that thing. I don't care. I literally dodged in my seat to get out of the way of that thing. Luckily, I also dodged out of the way with my keyboard and also actually just shot it. So I had three three recourses with which to successfully not get hit. Ow! That was a little bit quick. There we go. Limey, I knew there would be one, but it still took me by surprise. Right, remember not to... I don't know what that one is. Burst fire, maybe? Do you get a different um, set of these, depending on which weapon you've picked up? Or do the same ones do different things, depending on which weapon you've picked up? That is my question to you, the viewer. Answers on a postcard, please. That's the old way of doing it. Answers in the comments section, please. Have you sent a postcard ever? I certainly haven't sent one in recent however longs. This has turned my railgun into a machine gun. <laughs> what? I'm very confused. I've got seven shots in my machine rail. Do I still have charge shot? missed but that's okay so it's not actually a machine gun you can't hold it down it's a burst fire sort of i'm reloading after every bullet just in case because i'm expecting yeah, I can't get that. just came down on top of me is that normal is that how you people behave savages oh my god Oh, no. Why is that not helping? <laughs> Oof, didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. What is happening? What was that? I've never seen one of those before. I mentioned about 6,000. Yes. Push that button, please. 
Oh yeah. Give me 50. It's not enough in the general sense of enough. It's very well balanced to be difficult, isn't it? Uh, I'm not playing on easy, which maybe I should be, just to get the hang of it, but... Eh. You know, you live, you live fast, die young. That's what all these people who have been sent into the Icarus are, are taught to live by, and then die by. Okay, let's do it again. I really want to know what happens if you succeed at this, just this first level. Get punked! Exterminate enemy pilots before they take to the air. We only have 111 seconds, I think. They just seem to be going in seconds, so that's nice. Nice of it to start off with that um, same initial. Uh, did I just eat that without being hurt? Oh, this is so freaky. I hate it. Yeah, you just pick it up anyway, whether you need it or not. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank you. Leave me alone. Oh, uh, let me out. I don't know if there are any secrets, but I'm just going to go fast because I want to make sure that I can pull that switch. I do love the uh, mimicked ancient style sound effects that they've got going on here. I shouldn't have picked that up. Right. I don't know if I'm going to need this HP anyway. Ammo anyway. Didn't have quite so much of a time crunch when we were playing. Oh, you got to kill them all. There's one left. What? Where are you? Who in here? I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, we're not going to make this. That's really unfair. <laughs> it's really, really unfair. I did so well, and I didn't realize that I had to actually kill everything as well. I mean, it does say eliminate enemy pilots, but I thought that there would be... Less difficult to find. <laughs> Hello. Heck you. Well, this is mean and you're mean. So I hope you feel good because this is bad. Hey, dude. It said fail, but last time it said success fail. Uh, open sesame. Open. Alright, suit yourself. We'll try that more times in the future. I don't want to do that on every single episode, though, because that would be boring. Yes, yes, it would. We're noticing. Thanks, streamer, for noticing that your content is of no value to anybody. High rad levels. Pretty sure you just can't get in there. That was actually a grenade launcher all this time. I didn't actually realize that, but okay. Um, more baddies, please. Oh, heavy. I see you. I wouldn't mind a rate of fire increase, actually. And I also wouldn't mind maybe resetting this to not triple shot. Not burst fire, I mean. Hello. Man, wouldn't it be great if your shield just recharged because this was Borderlands <laughs> and not straight? Wow, this is just bad. Yeah. Should use this weapon for accuracy. Hey! It said accuracy and then it was immediately in my face and it was a problem. Not where I wanted it to be. Yikes! I'm sure you died. Come on then. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? Some sort of shotgun. This will do. For later. Yep, yep. Hello. Ow. How did your shot go through the thing that you're supposed to be actually killing because you're supposed to be protecting me? Do you think 6,000 scrap is worth... Well, I'm assuming it's 50 HP. Which, when you put it like that, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> Very much so. Because what else are you doing with that scrap, right? Just letting it exist. What is this? I feel like that should be some sort of secret, but I think it's just environmental effects. Oh my god! 
Game, stop making me double guess everything all the time. Yeah, so people have said, basically, if you can see a room that you can't get to, it's probably a secret. Um, okay. I can't see it because nobody in their right mind would use this map. Uh, but maybe there's something to be said. But every now and then. You can't see the rooms anyway because, like, this part of the map hasn't even loaded till I get there. Oh, we've got it. In fact, it makes a noise. I wonder if that's what that was. Ow. I can't believe all those shots miss. That's <laughs> very upsetting. Oh, do you know what? We can reset that thing at the, uh, at the at the fabrication machine. I just remembered. Let's give it a go. Push this button and see what happens. We've nearly got enough for that. Um... Did that... What did that... <laughs> it just gave me scrap, which happened to turn into a railgun. I... What was I saying? We've nearly got enough for some more ammo. For some more armor. I would like some of those accuracy upgrades that we're getting in the previous run when I just died for no reason. We actually got <laughs> a replacement or an, uh, a bit more ammo for a gun that we have picked up. Picked up the same gun twice in the same run, which is inconceivable, unheard of. Never going to happen again. Don't get used to it. Uh, put it on the calendar and all that sort of malarkey. Excuse me. Hello. What did you have? These key cards as well. I don't know what I'm doing with them. They, they just sort of appear in my inventory. And then I have a key card. But at no point has anything said to me, you can't go this way. You need a key card. So that's it. I don't know. Maybe. I do like the sort of one shot, one kill nature of this uh, railgun. Can I melee you? No. <laughs> I don't want to melee you. But it's not too much to ask, right? You'd be malleable. Come on. It's going to be a monster closet. Shop. Okay. Here you go. How many credits do I have? 125. How how did I deserve 125 credits? I will save my scrap. Press L mouse to heal or press R mouse to throw. What is it? <laughs> Press space while falling to activate. Hold E to pull barrels towards you. Blast enemies every time you reload. I'm interested in this. Let me have this. Maybe I can have... Uh, really get very much for your credits, do you? What was that then? How do I activate that? <laughs> Is there... <laughs> Full options. Uh, controls. Just uh, murder time. F. What? Action reload item. Q. Nice. Is it like one use? Maybe. Alright, we've at least made it through the difficult bit, which is, say, the easy bit, and to the difficult bit. Oh, heck. I, I'm expecting at some point I will become a little bit less brain flooded. Mind flooded. Brain broken by. Hello? Come on. Are we loading? Uh. By. All the new things in the game. I'm, I'm hoping this is not just crashed. <laughs> we'll be watching this for some time. Apologies. Filling in for dead air. This has actually crashed. I'm going to be a sad panda. Uh, so what's going on? Hello. Game. Don't make me do another one. I know it's, this is the perfect time to end the episode. It doesn't mean you have to like force it. Hello? It would be good if we loaded that. Okay. Uh, do something else. I think it's crashed. Well, that's a perfect time to end the game anyway. So if in the time that it takes me to say thanks for watching and I'll see you, it actually loads the next level, then we'll keep playing. But uh, I think it's not going to happen. So... <laughs> You know, this isn't an okay episode. It's only episode four. Hopefully episode five will be a little bit more successful, but 
you know, stick around. We'll find out. But until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you.